In tonight's Mino Project, we meet an Appleton man who won't be in any parades, won't be setting off fireworks, but will be celebrating our country's freedom in his own quiet way. NBC 26's John Mino is live at 10 to explain. Well, Stacy, let's be honest. We all love the 4th of July. We all wave the flag. We say the right things. And then we move on to our picnic tables. But a remarkable local man, originally from Poland, understands the true meaning of our country's Independence Day more than anybody I've ever met. This, in many ways, is where Henry Gold grew up. From ages 11 to 15, there was no such thing as a good day. There wasn't a day. There wasn't a day. I faced death every moment of the day and night. In his book, Ragdolls, he writes about being taken from his home in Poland for the crime, according to the Nazis, of being Jewish. He would spend time in nine different camps. At first, I would be thinking, ah, let him shoot me. Who needs this thinking life? I have enough. And the next moment, I would become remorseful. And I thought to myself, no, I don't want to die. I'm still a kid. I didn't live yet. Even with death and misery all around him. You've seen the, 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 the people that look like skeletons and uh, uh, living in, in the worst conditions ever. And hunger, a constant form of torture. I survived on a piece of bread and a bowl of water with soup for five years. He somehow beat the horrific conditions which claimed the rest of his family. He was liberated in 1945 and made his way to America in 1952. A move which didn't make him forget the horrors of his youth, but did allow him to somehow accept it for what it was. And I know some of the Holocaust survivors uh, never forgive, you know, and they go with that bitterness uh, uh, to their graves. And I don't want to do that. I love everybody. And with that, embraces this annual day of freedom with unbridled enthusiasm. Appreciate your freedom, your wonderful country. This is the best country in the world. Appreciate it. You know, and don't take it for granted. Mm. Interesting man, huh? Wow. I mean, all he's been through, and he says yeah. he's not bitter at all. You know what he told me? He said, he said the day he decided to forgive and forget was like being liberated all over again. Mm. Very well said. Yeah. All right. Thanks, John.